Like me, I'm sure that you found videos out there talking about just how much you can make on one app or another. And first, I just want to thank you for actually caring about your earnings and your expenses because this matters. My name is Russ. I've been doing this part time for almost five years doing food delivery, grocery shopping, started off with rideshare. So I've got some expertise that I want to share with you. Can you imagine if days go by, days turn into weeks, and you just aren't keeping track of anything? How do you know if you're going to be successful by the end of the year to be able to take care of all your bills, the savings you want to do, maybe a vacation you're saving for? Let me encourage you, please pay close attention. It's important to know how much you're making and where you're making it from. And I'm not going to bore you to death with all my details because I know really people don't care. So I'll just put the information up as I talk about it. The first important thing that you need to know is which of your apps is giving you the most work, meaning how busy are they? And you can look, add up how many orders you've done for each app. And this will give you an idea of which, which one has the potential of paying you the most money. There's no guarantees there. In my case, Uber Eats and Grubhub paid the most doing restaurant food delivery. I was surprised by that. Usually it's shopping. Next. Go look through all your apps and see where did your money come from. In my case, most of my earnings came from Uber Eats and then they came from Instacart. So you can kind of see the difference here. Busyness and how much money you make. Something nice but not essential, you could see which apps per order are paying you the most. In my case, that was Instacart and Amazon Flex. But do keep in mind, these take more time. Doing a restaurant delivery from McDonald's is quick compared to a ton of groceries from Amazon Flex. The second most important area, track all your expenses. Please believe me on this. I've been doing it for almost five years. You must know your expenses. Otherwise, how do you know if this money you're making is really all profit? You're going to be quite surprised by that. The apps are only going to give you the mileage from pick up to drop off. And you know as well as I do, you're driving on other apps, you're going to other locations. Potentially these miles can be included on your tax return. Needless, I'm not a tax professional, so do your own research. The next thing is track your fuel. I happen to fill up at the beginning of my shift, then I'll fill up at the end of the day. I write down each app and how many trips I did for each. This just helps me keep track without having to rely on the app. For my quarterly earnings, April to June, you can see I almost made $3,500 and it worked out to $1.32 per mile, which is good. Anything under a dollar is really bad and you're losing money. The third vital area that you must consider, how are your earnings in light of your expenses? The IRS knows, right? They want our tax money. They know what it takes to be successful. They know what it takes to operate a business. So when it comes to our vehicle, they are very precise. Right now it's 65 and a half cents per mile to operate your vehicle. That includes fuel, maintenance, tires, depreciation. This is where you're gonna deduct that from your taxes. But overall, if your earnings are here and then you have a ton of expenses, you're not making as much profit. So take your business miles, multiply it by that 65 and a half cents, and that's going to give you your expenses. The profit's going to be the difference between your earnings and these expenses. Now, keep in mind, you're still going to have to pay taxes on this. So in my case, I roughly made $22 an hour before expenses. After expenses, I made $11 per hour but I still have to pay taxes. So I actually made even less and that's going to be the same for you. Incidentally, I've been trying to get my acceptance rate up on Uber Eats because I want to do a little test and see if you actually make more money going all out with them. I did find that I drove 700 more miles this last quarter and I did make more money and a lot more of it was on Uber Eats. So, so far this has been an interesting trend. That's just a small deviation from the work that I've been doing. And you may find when you do the research, maybe there's an app you're spending a lot of time on. Maybe there's one that you'll now find you should spend more time on because it's so important for you to track your earnings and track your expenses. That way, you know, when the end of the year comes around, if you're going to be able to fund all those dreams that you have or pay all those bills. 
I trust that you found all this information helpful, so please do like the video and like the channel. If you care to, please share in the comments. After you go back and look at your earnings and expenses, why don't you share with all of us things that you found and maybe other drivers can be helped by that. You know, I don't know if you've thought about it like I have. Where is all this money coming from? How sustainable are our jobs? Think about these companies. They have to have enough money to keep the shareholders happy. They have to pay their employees all their benefits. And then finally, they have to pay us so that we want to go out and complete that job and work hard for the customer. Is there enough money to go around? Obviously, all these expenses go to the customer and they're the one paying. So in this video here, I looked back in May on Uber Eats and I compared it to two years ago. And I think you're going to be fascinated with the insights that I found in there. So do check out that video and I'll see you there.